today's live training, we covered the playback and editing capabilities that you have within Filmic Pro. Let's take a look. First of all, if you want to get rid of a clip, you can simply swipe to the left on it. You get a delete button. I can filter these by tapping on that double-headed arrow on the bottom left side of that dialog. If I tap on that, it opens up a filter by option. I can hit the share button, and that'll bring up the standard share sheet, so I can save those to my iPhone. I can share them over AirDrop, by messages, or anything else. Next one up is adjustments. This brings up a whole other set of controls, and these are your exposure, color, and so on. So we tap the first one, that's exposure. I can make this image a little bit brighter, a little bit darker. And I'll say that this is actually pretty good. It's quite um, gentle. I think that a lot of times when you look at exposure sliders, they're really heavy handed. And so just a tiny adjustment is just already over the top. This will allow me to downsample the clip. When I tap it, it says, do you want to downsample it? In this case, it gives me the options of low 540p and 720p. That's because this was shot at 1080. James Stigwell says, I can't get autofocus to work I'm recording at 120 frames per second. Are you missing something? To see the entire training video, head over to photojoseph.com slash LT1905, or just click the link down below, or the one up here, that should work as well. And if you wanna see all the Filmic Pro training, head to photojoseph.com, and at the top of the page, you'll see a filter by app option. Tap on that and select Filmic Pro, and you'll see the entire training series.